All right, so I'm showing you how I'm making quick work of this, um, cutting these. So I've measured these out to eight inches each, and I clamped a stop on my saw that I can just move these up and saw, and every single time I'll get exactly the same cut, and I'm cutting three boards. I could even cut four if I wanted to. All right, you guys, I am getting really, really excited about this. Um, before I can finish, I haven't, I haven't actually put any of these down yet. Um, I haven't nailed them in yet. But before I can finish, I've got to put in a face frame here, which is basically going to be, it's going to be this piece, and it's going to go all the way across the front. And then once I have that on, then I can continue my herringbone over that lip so that I can put a finish frame above that anyway so I once I get this installed the top of this seam will not matter because it's going to be covered by this but the bottom is going it's not even going to be really seen but I'm just trying to get it finished so I got this veneer edging that is going that I'm going to be putting on the bottom of this to, and it will it's iron on Okay, so I just put it on and look at that. See under there how it's all smooth? This is gonna be painted, so I don't really need to worry about like matching the color. The, the stuff I used is white birch. This plywood is called sand plywood, S-A-N-D-E, but um, I'm gonna be painting, so it'll be just fine. Okay, so I'm about to install these. I am getting them as tight as I can, as close together as I can. Just for good measure, I actually ran these through the table saw along the sides again. Um, and I made that just a hair smaller so that they would all be pretty well exact. Um, and then I also did the same thing with the miter saw for the links, because there were some that the links were just a hair off. So I evened them all out. And now I'm actually just gonna stick a um, brad nail in each end okay so I know you can't tell except for there but I I brad nail these in the brad nail is really small if you are really concerned about it you could even use a pin nailer you can look that up if you don't know what it is um, pin nailers are just tiny 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 and that would work well as well but honestly I'm gonna be sticking putting some epoxy over the this and so it's really not gonna be seen also, I put some stain over this, but there was some shredding of this top veneer when I sawed it down. And if you want to prevent that from happening, you can you just use a really sharp, sharp saw blade. My saw blade is pretty good, so most of these look pretty good, but occasionally you'll find one like this. So I'm actually just going to use it for one of these outer pieces, and it'll cut that off. All right, look at this beauty. Um, okay, so I went through, there were some of these little teeny tiny corners that I just stuck little pieces on. Two nails in each. Um, so now I am actually gonna take my circular saw, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna draw lines, and then I'm going to take my circular saw and just cut right along that edge to get it up nice and square.